Now we're going to do a review of some uh, AP calculus question. We want to find the limit of the sine of x over x as x goes to either plus infinity or minus infinity. One key idea that we can use here is that uh, uh, we can uh, see or we can prove easily that the following, the function f of x is sine of x over x, okay? And uh, is, uh, is even. In fact, f of minus x is sine of minus x over minus x is the sine is odd, so we have minus sine of x over minus x, and this gives us sine x over x. This proves that f of minus x is f of x. Okay, that means our function is even. Okay, and uh, 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 we can uh, prove that the uh, the limit of sine of x as x goes to plus infinity when we find it uh, the limit of sine of x as x goes to minus infinity will be the same okay remember what we mean by something even if we have something even it's it's, it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis if this one goes to plus infinity this one will go to plus infinity as x goes here to plus infinity and this one to minus infinity okay x is going to minus infinity okay the same thing for this function here okay we have something here this is even function so if we have this limit here as uh, a two it will have two as it gets to minus infinity, okay? So one quick idea that we can do is that we know that the uh, sine of x over x is less than one over x, okay? Uh, for both x positive and negative, okay? Or we can do that in absolute value Okay, okay, for x bigger than zero here. So uh, sine of x over x is less than one over x. Okay, this this one will will uh, uh, will tell us that, that we can write it this way here. Sine of x over x is between one over x and minus one over x. Okay. And therefore, when we take the limit, the limit as x goes to plus infinity of 1 minus x, minus 1 over x is 0. And this is our limit here. So, and uh, this is the same as 1 over x as x goes to plus infinity. And therefore, here, this is trapped between 0 from the right and 0 from the left. And therefore, the limit of sine of x over x as x goes to plus infinity is zero since this function is even we have so we found that the limit here is zero when x goes to plus infinity and it's the same it's zero when x goes to minus infinity okay so this is clearly seen when we uh, try and graph this function sine of x over x Okay, so for x, when x is zero, we know that the, the limit is one. Okay, and the side, this one will be zero for x is and pi. It means pi, two pi, minus pi, minus two pi. So here our function will be like this. Okay. Okay, and it will die smoothly. So here, okay. So as we get closer to infinity, we, we're going to see that uh, we have zero. And the same thing here. Okay. If you try to graph it, you're going to see something like this. Okay. So this is an overview, a general idea of what's going on. So the key, the key, the key that we can learn from here is that this limit as x goes to plus infinity is zero. And the limit as x goes to minus infinity is zero. So that's, that's what we need. So the limit of sine of x over x is zero 
as we go to plus infinity and the limit is zero as we go to minus infinity okay so this is graphically here and this is uh, using some kind of squeeze theorem to get the result okay if you see any errors or mistakes please let me know thank you very much